Hi guys, my name is Eric, Technical Manager here at h &S Technical Services. In this video, we want to provide some instructional tips and methods on how to troubleshoot the Fresenius Arterial Blood Pump Module. Specifically, when you experience an EO6 error code that is displayed on the module itself or when the machine displays the ACT blood pump fail alarm during the machine startup. These tips and methods will allow you to diagnose the symptoms mentioned and determine whether the arterial blood pump module or just the motor will need to be replaced. Hello, my name is Dale. Today h &S will be showing Biomeds a way to check their blood pump motors for external shorts. For this test, we won't be needing the BTA power supply. We'll be using the Fluke 177. and get your fluke out and set, it up, set the fluke up to read in the ohm scale. We'll need to remove the ground wire, so we'll need to release the board and raise the board up away from the faceplate. Take our P2 Phillips screwdriver and remove the ground screw. And try not to drop the star washer. And we got all of that out. Make sure your wire's not touching the motor anywhere. Take our fluke and we're going to go from the easiest ground is a chassis from the module and the chassis from the motor. And you can see that this one here is open as a well. So this one here is not shorted. So this motor is good. Okay, now we're going to show a, a shorted motor and so, so you can know what that looks like. Go through and, and uh, make sure your ground is, is not touching anything. And we're going to go through again and go from the chassis of the module to the chassis of the motor. And you can see that this one here has a short to ground. It measures some resistance and it is shorted. And the Biomed will need to replace this entire module. Okay, now we're going to go through and check a blood pump motor and for an internal short inside the motor. And so, uh, we'll still need to have the ground removed. We'll still use the P2 Phillips screwdriver and remove the ground wire. And so we've got to release the board and raise the board up. Reach through down and grab the screw and washer. Try not to drop the star washer in here. Remove the ground wire. Take the screw out. Make sure the ground wire is out here where it can't be. Uh, up against the chassis or the motor. And so from now we should have a motor that is open. Yep. And so now we got to remove to measure the, the internal connections in the motor. We need to remove the uh, motor cables and pull the back tab back and remove the optical cable. Take both of them out. We're going to go through and set this out so that we can get to the two openings here in the cable and we're going to measure each wire in the cable separately to ground and you see that we have a shorted motor on that side. Go to the other side of the cable 
and it is still shorted. Stay there. It is still shorted on both sides of the cable. So we have an internal short to the motor. If you have an internal short in your motor, then you'll just need to replace the motor. Okay, as you just saw, these troubleshooting tips and methods are simple yet effective and used with the equipment you are already familiar with and will save you time in the field. You may encounter different error messages than Neo6 or ACT blood pump fail. However, these troubleshooting methods can still be applied when your symptom is the blood pump motor will not run.